fascinating insect indeed. So we, oh, we have, are still following the clues that are going to lead us hopefully to the elephant herd, but I just had to stop and show you this amazing dung beetle. Now what he's rolling at the moment is a pile of elephant dung that he's gathered up and made into a ball. And admittedly, Dave, I've seen rounder dung balls. This is a nice big one, but it's not very round at all. And that can't be all that easy for this particular dung beetle to sort of maneuver. Dung beetles are very, very strong. Oops, oh dear, he's got himself to a hill now. Come on, little guy, push, push, push. Up we go, oh, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Look, his legs working, displacing all of the soil as he tries desperately. Oh dear, I think that's a bit too steep, mister. Oh, is he gonna do it? Look at him go. Uh, in that pile of dung that he's collected, there are leaves and grass. Jason, oh look, he's done it. Jason, you want to know, oh, come on, buddy. Don't roll all the way back down. If you let go now, you're gonna roll all the way. Jason, you want to know why it is that it's filled with grass and leaves? Because, Jason, that's what elephants eat. So their digestive system processes it very, very quickly, and they defecate out a huge amount of dung. And in that dung is undigested grass and leaves. Oh, roly-poly. You can see every now and again he stands up on the dung wall and then goes back down head first to push it along. Let's try and see if we can get one last view. Now he could have that dung ball for two reasons. One is food, they do eat dung. The other is to try and find a lady friend. So that is the dung beetle equivalent of flowers and dinner. He's trying to woo, he could be trying to woo a female. He's taken himself down a very difficult path though. Are you gonna be able to, you can see him there, Dave. Taken himself on a very difficult path. But it depends, Ben, on why he has that ball of dung as to where he's going. Now it could be he's just going to go and bury it somewhere and utilize it as food. But if he finds a lady, uh oh if he finds a lady friend or a female dung beetle, then she will come and sit on the dung ball with him and he will push it to a nice, safe, shady spot where there's some soft soil. And what he'll do is he will bury that ball of dung and the female will lay her eggs in it so that when their babies hatch, they've got lots and lots of food to eat. So basically their parents are providing them with a really good start to life. See how he's using, that's his head at the bottom. Now, all of that work is done by his front legs. Yeah, Lynn, isn't it incredible? You, aren't, you want to know how he's standing on two legs whilst pushing. He's using the dung ball to balance himself and his front two legs are his strongest legs, which is why he pushes in that way. But the problem with that is that he has to keep climbing up on top. Look, there you go, he's climbing up on top to look where he's going. Now he's decided where he's going to go and he goes straight back to work, pushing the dung off into the grass. I love dung beetles, I think they're fascinating.